This 100 megaton explosion on the sun is hurling radiation at Earth at speeds of up to 6 million miles per hour. It's one of the biggest explosions in our solar system, and it's called a coronal mass ejection, or CME for short. When CMEs collide with Earth, they create storms in our atmosphere that can really mess with our planet, and they can mess with you too. Here are five reasons why you should care. Number five, they can kill your cell phone. Geomagnetic storms, like this storm in 2003, the largest solar storm on record, shake up the Earth's magnetosphere and make magnetic compasses, radios, radar, GPS signals, and cell phone communication go kaplooey. And let's face it, you can't live without your cell phone. Number four, they mess with plane travel. These incoming magnetic waves slam high-flying planes with unsafe levels of radiation and interfere with navigation and communication systems. In January of 2012, for example, both Air Canada and Delta Airlines reacted to the CME you see here by rerouting flights over the Arctic, causing massive delays. Number three, they're really pretty. When the charged particles from solar flares smash into atoms on the Earth's atmosphere, they cause some spectacular atmospheric fireworks like these on YouTube. These are aurora. When it happens near magnetic north, it's known as the aurora borealis. In the south, it's called the aurora australis. But during a geomagnetic storm, they can be seen almost all over the world and many times brighter than normal. Number two, they can shut down your power. When magnetic fields find something that can conduct them, like a wire, things can get pretty crazy. This happens on a gigantic scale with geomagnetic storms, causing transformers and generators to blow, which can cause large-scale blackouts. One of the largest blackouts ever recorded was caused by a massive solar storm in 1989 that knocked out the power to the entire province of Quebec, Canada. And finally, number one, these storms are currently off the scale, but they're going to get even stronger. The more active our sun's spots are, the more geomagnetic storms it produces, and that activity rises and falls in 11-year cycles. Right now, we're in the most intense period of solar activity we've seen this cycle. But for all you 2012 doomsday predictors out there, keep in mind that even the biggest solar storms cannot physically destroy the Earth. Plus, the years predicted to be the highest level of solar activity this cycle are actually 2013 and 2014. For Discovery News, I'm Darren Taylor.